after reviews of the Humble Equation and the Princeton Motor Principles. The machine Boone stole from the Smithsonian when Spock turned his back will be used to test the mechanism that will enable anyone to make a 10,000 flea power perpetual motion device. The stolen machine is now warming up. Newton ran some simple rolling ball experiments to explain a bump on his head caused by gravity. He failed in his goal to explain gravity and only came up with a humble equation for impulse and momentum. Most of his observations are summarized in this form, and he was knighted even though he failed to explain gravity. Several years later, Cavendish figured out the universal gravitational constant, and Newton was given the credit. About the same time, Claire Peller's incorrigible great-grandmother asked. The scholars scrambled and came up with F equals MA, and gave the credit to Newton again, and time to James Watt for experiments leading to truthful equations correlating momentum and heat. James was an incorrigible Scot and kept the credit for himself. We are not as brave as James and are well aware of the terror that the State Department and Romney judges can inflict on us. Boone may be a descendant of one of Claire's cats with nothing those terrorists want. We too failed, and are still unable to answer the grandmother question with our limited knowledge. Watt used, or stole, the option version of the humble equation that answers Boone's question. Reversing a polarity, he invented the flyball governor, still being used today. To justify burning oil, the profiteers explained the governor with... Inventors say... Profiteers respond... Scholars paid with tax dollars. The slingshot effect is a big problem for the profiteers. When I heard this from a PhD, I had no response. So now we will use the Humble equation to invent a motor for the cat books. At equal distances approaching and ebbing away from the planet, the forces on the satellite are the same. Because of higher velocity, the time is shorter, ebbing, resulting in less momentum loss than momentum gained during the approach. We can fast forward through the inventing process. One of Romney's judges has already thrown me in jail for merely thinking perpetual motion was possible. So... A little business to take care of. Anemometers are the classic way to explain the motor principles I learned from the Princeton PhD. I believe this anemometer in a 230 mile per hour wind town was funded on the simple theory that the jet stream could supply all the energy we need. 
Anemometers would be preferred over windmills because they do not require additional inventions to turn into the wind. Inventors would just need to invent towers that are tall enough and cheap enough and don't crash into planes. Anemometers work because force is different at opposing angles relative to the direction of the wind. It's easy to say anemometers are more powerful than perpetual motion toys because the wind is more powerful than gravity or rubber bands. A pesky inventor would ask and then refer to his humble equation. Eureka! In all directions, satellites and toys have the same force, while anemometers have the same delta time. Effectively, anemometers have elliptical force, while the other stuff has elliptical path. The Eureka can be explained in other ways. The other stuff oscillates along shortest path, while anemometers have greater percentage oscillating force. An analogy indicating catalytic efficiency is toys are yielding energy seen as the flutter of a flag, while anemometers capture the larger forces causing the flag to stand. The goal here is to show that making a powerful magnet motor is almost as easy as making an anemometer with paper cups. Here is the cup, a simple block of steel. Here is the magnetic wind, a couple of magnets, some steel, and non-magnetic stuff to keep them in their proper place. Now something few, if any of you have ever seen before, a simple device with three transition boundaries. Is the steel being repelled? Coefficients are determined by measuring forces in both directions. For magnet motors, the inventor's job is completed with this simple written recipe. Reducing the gaps to half with more precision parts may be the best way for double portions. Now let's take a poll. How many think the humble equations will be part of Syncopetra impulse power thrusters and OU generators?